What is up everybody, Escape211 here, and yeah, we are on the China test server today, uh, and we're going to look at Fort. I do not have him. Um, on, uh, on the China test server, you can actually get him, but uh, I have tried to play on the China server, man. I only have a little bit on here, and it is insanely hard to get anywhere because there seems to be a lot more players, and uh, even at low glory, you're already hitting crazy good players as well as my ping is always over 200. It's insane to try and keep up with combat. And on this emulator, it definitely runs worse than on my device for me. Um, you know, that might just be a limitation of what I have for my, my stuff. But at the very least, I can look at Fort uh, and we can talk a little bit about him. Um, I'll quickly go through his, uh, his kit, but you guys have probably already seen a lot of this stuff. He has the antimatter missile. This shoots in bursts. And it kind of shoots similar to Sindri's weapon, but then it feels like the sticky bombs of Christina. And you'll see what I mean when we get into it a little bit. Very interesting, pretty darn powerful, probably worth um, uh, not being auto-aimed. If you think of Christina and all that kind of stuff, you don't want to auto-aim her. So you don't want to auto-aim this either. Antimatter barrier just puts up a barrier on the ground. You'll see what it looks like. Uh, and it will stay up for a long time. It actually has lesser cooldown. Like it says, it'll stay up for 20 seconds. Uh, that's an insanely long time, um, but it will eventually go away. But your cooldown on this for replacing it is only like eight seconds. So you can pretty much always have a shield up unless it gets taken down. Um, at max, you'll see it has more health, uh, you know, and kind of somewhere between Ruby shields versus Jabali shield, somewhere in between there. All right. Gravity Swirl is his ultimate. Really useful. Um, it's an AOE that pulls targets to the center of it and does damage while it's doing it. Not super damaging, but very useful for control, crowd control, all that kind of stuff. And then you obviously can damage them while they're in this. So it can be pretty darn powerful. And then impact shield, uh, it will give him a shield. We have seen other uh, heroes that give these temporary shields before, but his is the biggest I've seen. Um, and it's insane when you think about how much HP he has, how much shield he has, and then this temp shield on top of it. So uh, we're gonna go into try mode here. Hopefully it will uh, start up for me. It runs slowly on here, but uh, we'll get into that and then you'll see how this works, all right? Um, you might have already seen other people do a video on this. Uh, and honestly, I mean, on first glance, this guy seems super OP. And I would generally agree with everybody. And you'll see pretty soon when I jump into this here. All right. So um, I have, I don't have auto aim on. You'll see that he already has the shield around him. And if you look down at my health, it says 9,800 health, which is between my shield, uh, my health, and then that over shield that I have. All right. So you get some of that. You see the fire here? It's uh, a direct fire. Like it's actually pretty, stays pretty steady, um, which is nice. It, it actually is a direct fire weapon, kind of like Sindri's. Doesn't really have much fall off. No matter how far you shoot it, it should uh, keep pretty consistent and it shoots way out there. I wonder if I can hit all the way over there. If I can, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, it looks like I can, holy cow. So this has like insane range on it, but re it realistically, I mean, trying to hit your targets is not necessarily easy to try and hit them with all of them, whether a running target. You're definitely going to have to lead your shots and get good at it. But it, it is something where like a shot, or someone isn't ready for you, you know, that kind of stuff. You can take them out in one go, like uh, squishier targets, heavier targets is going to take longer. So very powerful, a lot of damage potential out of this weapon um, can be nice, especially if somebody gets up on you and you want to shoot like as you're jumping at the ground at them can be very effective. Obviously, he's not coming after me right now, but you get the idea of how that can be. Um, reload on this is not too bad. Uh, it's about three, three, four seconds, somewhere in between there. So not awful. Um, so yeah, you get the idea of it being like sticky bombs coupled with Sindri's uh, ability. It has 20 bullets, but it shoots in four bullet bursts. So it's kind of like you get five shots out of it before you have to reload. That's still a lot. Um, there is a little bit of a delay in between firing. So DPS wise, this probably isn't that insane. And because like I said, when you're trying to hit moving targets, you're probably going to miss shots. It's not like you're going to be crushing things with this uh, basic weapon. So even though it seems really strong, you are going to have to play it well and leading your targets. I'm doing a terrible job of it because I, I have not really practiced with this. Um, but like that idea of like, you know, think of it like Sindri's weapon, I think is the, the best way of uh, viewing it. 
Um, nice though for shooting into doorways, shooting at the ground, that kind of stuff for um, that. Really nice for taking out invisible targets, especially like a Johnny Jet where you can shoot a lot, like kind of spray it around in his little uh, circle thing and do some damage. So it can seem like a really strong base weapon, but if you compare it to like Sindri's, hers in application is not as great, all right? So uh, first we'll look at his um, main ability here. He drops a uh, shield. And there's a lot of places you can place that. As you can see, it was on the ground. And like I said, this thing, um, now at this stage, it is 84,000. This is a level 10. Uh, so that is what it is max when it started. Like when I had it at level one, it was 6,000. So 84, um, 8,400, 8,400 is what it will max out at. And that will stay up for 20 seconds. Um, but I can already put down another one. You can put it from farther away. Very handy, very nice. Um, and it's, it's got a long... Uh, life to it and very effective at shielding stuff. I'm gonna set it up over here and we'll we'll see how Mark does against it here as he shoots at it. Um, so it takes him a little while to fire down and take it out uh, from that angle. I'm gonna actually put it the other way. I'm assuming it'll work this way. Um, I haven't tried it this way, but because it's curved toward me, but I assume it'll work the same way. Yeah, it does. It's just curved the opposite way. I mean, that's that I would think it would work that way. So, I mean, with, with some uh, heavy DPS on it, it's going to go down. But, I mean, even Mark, who's a, very good at DPS, especially close up, takes a little while for him to fire it down um, when he's firing in burst like that. So, not too bad. Um, I calculated it when it's maxed out versus a Jabali shield. It is, um, it, the Jabali shield is 2.5 times stronger than this shield is, all right? So, this shield is not as strong nearly as Jabali shield, but still pretty comparable. Uh, Ruby shield, I think at max is 4,200. So it's like twice her shield and then, um, you know, uh, a third roughly of Jabali shield. Um, so it's not bad, but here's the other thing you want to think about with the shield. It is a stationary shield. Now this can be good for like maybe control or uh, crystal assault, but think about the other common modes. When you're running around with your team, um, you know, you might want to put this up for like your sniper or your long range fire or your DPS that's just like an assault DPS, all right? Um, it's not something you can easily bring around with you. If you're playing payload um, uh, escort or something like that, this is not gonna be as good as like, you know, having Jabali or Ruby Shield in the sense that it's not gonna travel with you or with the payload in the same way. So there's pluses and minuses to that. I mean, you're, you're losing some mobility for the idea of what the shield is for uh, just the level of raw you know, potential or power that it has. So I think, you know, it's kind of middle of the road, even though people make it seem like it's super, super good. It is, but remember it's a stationary shield. So that's gonna have certain application that other shields uh, will or won't, you know, pluses and minuses there. Okay, and then of course the ultimate, um, the gravity, I, I like to call it like a gravity bomb. You can place that, you got a lot of range on that to place. And then when you place it down, it will pull in targets that are next to it. Um, and it will do the AOE damage slowly over time that are in there. While they're in there, I didn't even do it that time. You can shoot them, which is pretty nice. Um, so it, you can obviously, if you couple that with your gun or with your team, you can get some really solid DPS because it's gonna force the enemy in there. Um, I would assume certain heroes like um, uh, that have mobility to get out of it, like if they have a dash ability or if they have, you know, Kazama can fly, that kind of stuff, they may be able to get out of it. Johnny Jet may be able to jump out of it and put up his, uh, you know, uh, veil of, of chaos, uh, if that's what it's called. I think that's what it's called. Um, <laughs> so like, you know, you'll you'll have potential to deal with that kind of damage. Um, so, you know, there's, there's ways of getting around that, I think, uh, to get out of those kind of situations if you're a faster hero. But I do think there's a lot of damage potential there. Um, you have to think of it similar to Ruby, just because it takes a long time to charge. As you can see, I've been talking here, it's taken all this time to charge. So it is a longer ultimate to charge. It's not quite as long as Ruby's, but it's still gonna take a while to reload that, all right? So I just got it back here, and you can see that it, it took a minute for it to go. And then this time I'm gonna shoot at the guys while they're in there and do some added damage to them. And, and you can see they're much closer to death. And it has tanks, these guys are harder to tank down, or take down. Um, but yeah, I mean, you get an idea of how all that works. He also has his passive, which is this overshield that he gets. Um, you know, it's it makes him pretty tanky, pretty insane to take down. If I, if I take some shots here from Mark, uh, and then I stay out for just five seconds, my regular shield will start coming back, and then this shield will come back pretty quickly. Um, so just add some extra tankiness. A lot of other heroes have little shields like this that you see. 
uh, but his is insane. So, you know, he doesn't regen um, like health like any hero does, but he has a big shield that regens and then that temporary shield that comes back really fast. So even when you lose quote unquote half of your health, you really are just losing your shield. So there's a lot of potential to get in the fray, get in matches, do some damage, and then pull back and wait like, you know, five, five to six seconds to get most of that back. So it's pretty incredible um, the level of tankiness that this guy has and pretty much regenerative tankiness out of all that. Um, do I think this guy is OP? A lot of people are asking that kind of question. Fair question. I think he's going to be very, very strong. It remains to be seen depending on how the meta goes. Um, I do think that like in high end competitive play, his fire may be too slow uh, unless you're really good at, um, you know, lining up and, and setting up your shots. And his shield may ha only have limited capabilities. And I also think his ultimate, even though it can ensure kills, it's not one that is going to do a ton of work for you. You're going to, I mean, it can actually be, be beneficial if you think about the current meta that's like, we'll put the tank with the chemist or we'll put the tank with your DPS, you know, where you, where guys are going to group up. Then this is going to come in really handy where you can, you know, gather guys together and then just pile on the damage if you can time it right with your team. But I do think that, you know, those kind of situations may be situational and few and far between. So it really depends on um, how that plays out in the meta for him to really start to shine. Um, I think his kit is there. I think the potential is there. Uh, I just don't know if I would call him OP yet, like some people are probably thinking, um, you know, just by looking at his kit on its own in this kind of environment. I think you really need to see it in play. So, uh, yeah, that's that's overall what I think of this guy. You guys can let me know what you think about him. And, uh, you know, we'll see you out there on the battlefield.